Haha. -ha. Did that do it? I think that did it. Okay. How busy is that screen? That screen is busy. Okay. So, in preview... Where'd display go? Display capture. No, it shows it here. Okay. Hi. I don't know what I'm doing, can you tell? I'm trying something new here, and there's new programs from when I had done this before, and so I'm slow on the uptake, let's say. Um, so anyway, please bear with me while I figure this out. Uh, the Donning is a new version of what I've been doing. And what I want to do is encourage people to look at each new day as a new opportunity, uh, a new chance, a new choice, a new option, a new, you know, whatever. Um, I've been fighting with chronic illnesses and, you know, uh, it's another day, you know, and I keep eoring around and woe is me and, you know, I have to change my perspective. So the dawning came into my mind and that's when I got the the uh, image of the sunrise came into my head. So how did I do that? So, um, that's why at the opening, if I did it correctly, and now I don't know how to undo it. And then I've got the geese flying. Geese, to me, are always, they mean um, creativity to me. Uh, communication and creativity. And, and that's what we're doing on platforms like this, is, is sharing our creativity. So my whole purpose is to try to be uplifting, like the geese, um, wind beneath my wings, uh, and, and encourage people to, you know, just shift your perspective a little bit, and you might be surprised at um, how beneficial it is. So that's what the dawning with Susan Goforth, which is me, also known as Nana, um, is going to be all about. I've roughly got something set up here. And the one box that shows me and then shows me and then shows me and, and the geese and then the geese and then the geese. Um, the purpose of that was to, to share anything uh, online that I find, you know, I can read it to you, you know, you can read it for yourself while I'm yakking away, or, you know, uh, it's another way to share, uh, but I'm still trying to work out all the technical issues of everything and, and how I get one thing to go to another thing, and uh, I'm tired already. Uh, anyway, that's, that's the purpose, that's the intent. Um, so, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is angels. And I'm starting a study on them to see where they are in the Bible. Bible verses about angels. Angels. There are many different depictions of angels in the world today. We are fascinated by the idea of heavenly beings, and it's not hard to find jewelry, art, or even garden decorations with tiny baby cherubs or elegant beings. Many of us would be surprised to see what the Bible has to say about angels. These Bible verses about angels will give you a true picture of these heavenly beings. Shall I continue?
Bible verses about angels. Okay, now I know there's a way to make me smaller and this larger. So, but I can't think of it offhand. Oh, I wonder. Which one is this? No. Nope. Nope. Well, crap. Excuse my French. <laughs> no, I can't figure it out right now. So let's just let's just start with uh, what we can do at this point. Bible verse about angels. Verses. Genesis two one, at the very beginning. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. That does not say anything about angels. Um, these volume about angels. That didn't say anything about an angel. Okay. Luke 20, 35, 36. But those who are considered worthy of taking part in the age to come and in the resurrection from the dead will neither marry nor be given in marriage, and they can no longer die, for they are like the angels. They are God's children, since they are children of the resurrection. Samuel says... And now your servant says, may the word of my Lord, the king, secure my inheritance. For my Lord, the king, is like an angel of God in discerning good and evil. May the Lord, your God, be with you. Luke 15, 10. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Wow. I don't think I've ever... I've, I've never come across that. Uh, I don't, I've never retained that. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. And all you have to do is say, Father, and mean it, be sincere. I am so sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for this action. I'm sorry for this thought. And, the, and, and then there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels. That's awesome. There's several in Revelation, but I'm not going to mention those ones because that gets into a lot. The book of Revelations is very intense. Job 4, 15 to 18. A spirit glided past my face, and the hair on my body stood on end. We've had that sensation before. At least I have. It stopped, but I could not tell what it was. A form stood before my eyes, and I heard a hushed voice. Can a mortal be more righteous than God? Can even a strong man be more pure than his maker? If God places no trust in his servants, if he charges his angels with error. Okay, I don't get that one. Of course, we all know about the angels that were thrown out of heaven. Don't want to go down that road. Hebrews. I spent one time... Of course, what I'm reading is not the King James Version. Uh, it's strong, from Strong's Concordance. Strong's? I'm at the website BibleStudyTools.com is what I'm looking at. Here we go, Psalms 91.11. For he will command his angels concerning you 
to guard you in all your ways. Now, does that sound like a guardian angel? It does to me. Psalm 103.20 Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Well, okay. Ma and then in Matthew 4, 6 to 11, if you are the Son of God, he said, throw your... Oh, this is when Jesus is being tempted. And Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and the angels came and attended to him. Because he spent 40, 40 days out there, I believe. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it on here. And Matthew 24, 31 to 35. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his, his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it's near, right at the door. Truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. I like that. Well, I'm, I'm biased. I'm a Christian. Uh... Well, I'm not really finding what it is I had in mind. So I need to do a little more exploration on my own. But what do you think of angels? Okay. Now, how do I get out of that image and back over to... See, right now I can't even see... Oh, that's how. That's better. Yeah. So anyway. So let me know what you think of angels. Have you had an angel experience? I have. Um, I shared it with my tea and talk time peoples. Uh, and I'll share it again when I get more info. And I'm a little more comfortable with this, this setup. What I want to do, I'm not able to do yet. So I guess I just need to work on the configuration and really get familiar with everything. I have an opening where I say the Lord's Prayer while the sunrise is going on. And I can't seem to get it to play. Hey, wait a minute. I might be able to get it to play. Let's try this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. See what you think of this. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. So what do you think of that? I just can't figure out how to do it through OBS. I think I have it, but it's not there. So I'll work on that. I'll try to figure that out. I'll try to pop on more often. 
Um, like I said, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, where the... There. I'll try to figure this out and be smoother about it, so hopefully you can bear with me while I do that. In the meantime, if you've got any stories you want to share about angels, let me know. And we'll start off with that. So, uh, I will quote, once I figure out, there. I will, uh, I'll quote Red Skelton, one of my heroes from when I was a kid. He ended all his shows, uh, when he would say goodbye and take care and God bless. And that's what I say to you. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye for now.